What's going on guys, welcome to the video. Recently I posted a video, or a short I think it was, on uh, checking battery voltage. And so I decided to check uh, my voltage at idle uh, when the engine was running 1000 RPMs and I noticed that uh, it was kind of high, 14.98. Uh, we got both our batteries there and then that's what our, that's what our Yamaha gauge was reading. And then I took um, this reading here, these two with voltmeters, uh, when the engine was idling, uh, when it was off, but the switch was on both batteries. Um, so, you know, 12.9 is good, but when it's idling, it was at 14, just about 14.9, which I think is pretty high. Um, so, I think the problem is this guy right here. That's the voltage regulator and rectifier assembly. It's about a $200 part that I'm just about to pick up right now. It looks like it's just these two bolts and a harness, uh, and that's it. So hopefully it'll be an easy fix we can do. So before you start, you wanna make sure your batteries uh, are turned off and disconnected. And uh, we're gonna be using our 10 millimeter uh, long socket, and I've got this uh, extension here too that's uh, gonna help uh, on one of the bolts that's a little difficult to take out. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take those out. We'll unplug our harness and we'll go get our new part. All right, so here's our two bolts. We've got our bolts, our uh, lock washer and a regular washer on each of these. Uh, Want to keep track of them, don't lose them. Uh, and uh, you can see the voltage regulators out there. And I know it's a little dark out, but those two holes right there is where they go right there. Uh, this was kind of in the way of taking this bolt out here. That's why uh, it's a good idea to use that extension, but uh, this is it right here. Go ahead and unplug the harness. So for this here, there's a tab. Uh, it's hard to see, but there's a tab at the end of it is right there. And you just need to gingerly put, put a small flathead screwdriver up there to wedge it up upward just a little bit to where you can pull it off. All right, so we got our old voltage regulator out here by taking that flathead screwdriver and gingerly getting that tab up. And this right here is our new one. Uh, when you go to buy these parts, you wanna make sure that they're specific to the year and model of your engine. Uh, mine's a 2005 uh, F115 TXRD. So you wanna specify the model of your engine whenever you're getting these parts. So here's a new one right here. Uh, got the right one, let's go ahead and plug the harness in, put our bolts back and we'll be good to go. All right, so take it and just plug it back in here until the tab snaps. Heard it snap, so it's in. We're good to go, put the bolts on and we're good. All right, so our harness is in, of course, this pin here clicks when you plug it in. So make sure you hear a click when you plug this in, that means it's in. Of course, we tightened our two bolts here. Um, you know, you wanna make sure that they're torqued uh, properly and tightened. So we're gonna go ahead and get a voltmeter and test our voltage to see if this thing's doing its job or not. So now I'm gonna turn the engine on at idle and then rev it up to a thousand, uh, get the reading on the gauge and then get the reading with a voltmeter. 12.8 volts. Go ahead and fire it up. So that's saying 13.4, which is, that's pretty good. Um, we're at 8,000, 13.8. So RPM is about at 1,000, and we're at 14.8786, and the dash is reading 14.6. Before, it was at 14.9, which is good. So that voltage regulator is dropping our voltage or I guess regulating it. So we're at 14.8 uh, on the dash, we're at 1,000 RPM. So yeah, 14.6. So as you guys can see, that's a pretty simple install. A uh, couple bolts and a harness. And very important, if your gauge is showing high voltage, you know, anything above, you know, 15. Uh, and if you, Put a voltmeter up to your batteries and they're showing to be above 15 volts something that you should look at getting changed out um because you know high voltage is pretty bad for your engine it can destroy some of your electrical components so when you're running your engine especially 
uh, high RPMs, make sure you watch your battery voltage uh, and keep tabs on that. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and uh, thank you very much.